What's up guys, my name is Khan, and we're back today with a new game called Factory Town. Now, this game just came into early access on Steam last week, and of course, I'll include the link in the description, but the devs were nice enough to send me a key, and as far as I can tell, it's a bit of a city builder combined with a factory building game, I guess, hence the name factory town we're gonna create a whole new game here i guess leave it a default stuff uh available biomes well let's just let's turn all these on we don't need flat and empty that seems kind of like a waste perfect map size infinite that seems great uh creative mode off auto plays base off default you know that seems this seems pretty good luckily because i'm completely new at the game they give us these tips now it said it's an infinite map um, oh, I see. Okay, each map, it's kind of like Minecraft, it seems, where each map is like one, yeah, one square piece, and then we could, oh, we have to purchase to move out into different zones. Oh, that's awesome. So we start with this sort of, actually, we have a really large kind of four size tile starting area, and then we have to move out into different zones. All right, so the first thing we need to do is place our base, which I guess is like the town center, and uh, we need trees, stone, and grain. So I'm kind of really excited about this. It's kind of like Factorio, but if Factorio was an RTS, it seems, and you've got, uh, you know, more of an overall control rather than just controlling a single character. So here we go. We've got our four villagers. Good. Now what do we got to do? We got to take a worker and get some wood. All right, so you can do that. You'll go go chop some trees. All right, I guess we'll just put another guy on wood as well. I don't exactly know how many we need. 15 wood. Where's our resources? Oh, okay, here at the top. There's got to be more resources than this though because we've got grain as well and some herbs. You know what? You're just going to mine some herbs and, and you mine some grain. I'm assuming we're going to need that at some point in time. Uh, we've got enough wood. Perfect. So now what do we got to do? Build some houses. All right, build buildings house all right we just need one house houses generate income gotcha we're taxing the people to generate money so i'm really excited to uh actually get this game to the point where we've got a high level of automation i've seen some screenshots of some like crazy cities that people have built and they've just got all these sort of conveyors running all over the place different resources are being collected automatically so i'm really excited to get to that point but i still think it's a really awesome concept sort of combining that factory aspect of uh you know games like factorio with a city builder, and uh, I think that's just great. So, houses generate coins, workers cost coins to make. We also have capacity. Oh, I see, so more houses raise our capacity, like supply. All right, so it wants us to build a lumber mill, which is in the build menu, B, buildings. I like this kind of layout, structural blocks, logistic blocks, I'm kind of excited by this. This is gonna be, you know, the best to be able to actually sort of do different things. And look at, we've actually got logic blocks as well, which is super exciting. I always love it when games add logic blocks, especially when these sort of factory games come out. So we'll be able to use different conveyor lines for different things, depending on how we set up the logic. So I'm kind of excited about that. Um, but we need to build a lumber mill. So buildings, lumber mill, we're, we're still a ways away from that. Now, there's a radius on this. I'm not exactly sure. Do we have to, like, are we supposed to put it near trees? Is that the idea or is it just... I don't understand. Why can't I place this anywhere? Not enough population. Oh, we need more houses. Gotcha. Build more workers. Perfect. Get more on trees. We need lots of tree production, it seems. You know what? You'll go back on stone. All right. I like this. It's kind of like an RTS. So what are these other resources? We've got iron ore. We've got coal. We've got cotton. Apple trees. Stone trees. Grain. Iron ore. Coal. Coal. And then we've got just regular stone, right? Okay, this is this is pretty simple enough. So we got coal right here. That's going to be good. We got some grain. We've been mining a lot of grain. Where is our grain resource, though? He's just been... every. Oh, I see. Every time he brings grain to the house, it creates, it creates money. All right, so I think we have enough here for the lumber mill. I'm not exactly sure what the radius is for. Does it say? Does it say anything about what that is for? No, it doesn't, doesn't at all, right? Does, I, I'm not sure. Do we put trees... Like, within it, does it mine all the trees within that radius? I mean, let's just, you know what, let's just build it. No, the lumber mill creates planks, right? We'll turn wood into planks we need for many building and upgrades. So, okay, so it doesn't do anything. So let's just put it down here then. All right, and if we need, we need to bring wood from the lumber mill to craft a plank. So we need to click a worker and drag from the tree to the lumber mill. Perfect, you worker, tree to lumber mill. Uh, let's have three of them doing that, and I guess the rest of them are collecting wood just for the base. We can't take the wood from the base to the lumber mill. That's weird. We've got like 25 wood in the stock produced by Forrester. Okay, I see. We got to bring the plank from the lumber mill to the base to add it to your inventory. Left click on the plank and drag it from the... Oh, this is crazy. The level of automation that you're going to have to do in this. So like, 
This lumber mill is in a bad spot. We'll move the lumber mill over to here. All right, just like this. Perfect. Make planks again. Okay, and then you're going to go deliver to the closest. You can supply that, and then you can supply that. Okay, perfect. So you can just click them. That's easy enough. And we got two supply. We'll probably need another worker. And have you deliver? No, not supply. No, we don't want. We want you to deliver planks to thing. Perfect. Okay. So uh, houses can be upgraded to increase the population limit. We're only allowed to have four houses apparently. Oh, we can upgrade our base to get more houses. Gotcha. So upgrade the house. Perfect. Upgrade house. Perfect. All right. I'm starting to get a hang of this game. I think you know it's a really really cool concept. I really enjoy this style of game, factory style games. I love Factorio. I think it's a great game, and I think this is uh definitely going to turn into something like that especially once we get to like using shoots and uh, different sorts of logic blocks and stuff like that terrain block up okay uh, what are you guys doing we have too many people here you know what you supply instead yeah supply that all right you're supplying there. base we can upgrade you perfect house increase by four okay not a big deal Markets can be loaded with items and then nearby houses will automatically buy food from them. It's much more efficient and convenient than delivering goods to individual houses. Okay, that's pretty simple stuff. I'm really curious as to how this automation stuff is going to work because I really want to get like all, rid of all these workers. I just want to have robots and conveyors everywhere. Like workers in my mind, I mean, this is just too much to manage already. Look at, you got to tell them to go get the grain and when this grain runs out, what happens? Do they automatically go over to this grain or are they going to just like stand around aimlessly same with these bushes i feel like they're just gonna stand there but uh who knows it shows us our inventory there where does it show all our extra stuff shared inventory oh holy cow there's a lot of items in this game okay oh, wow there's cloaks magic cloak produce wh what do you need a magic cloak for and a regular cloak and a warm coat okay, okay. is there winter is there seasons man this is nuts 184 herbs. Okay, I don't know what we need all this stuff for. But anyways, all right. So, um, we need to build a grain mill, I guess. You know, let's just put it there. That's fine. Perfect. Turn it into flour. Done. All right, so now what? Do they bring the wheat to the thing automatically? No, they don't. We need three wheat. They're bringing all the wheat to the market. Okay, so I guess we got to get the wheat guys to stop bringing wheat to the market. All right, Stellar, we're producing flour. We don't nearly have enough workers for this. You know what? You need to supply grain to here as well. You also need to... You'll do the flour, I guess. One guy doing the flour delivery. And you're also going to supply... No, no, not flour. No. Oh, shoot. I wish you... Is there a way to click... Oh, no, no. Still not what I wanted. Okay. There we go. All right, there's got to be a way. Worker overview. There we go. So what are you guys all doing? logs 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 this is just a mess i feel like we need to reevaluate all the tasks that are going on here i think there's just there seems like there's too many people just standing around here and i mean they're all doing something but i i don't really know what they're all doing so let's just let's just reevaluate here let's make sure we get our priorities straight so let's just move everyone everyone just stand out in this field here for a second so we can just figure out what you're all doing this is going to become a real big nightmare really fast and i feel like if we don't keep on track of this uh, we're just going to run into a whole whole ton of problems. All right, so here we go. What do we got? Do we got everybody? What are you doing? You're just standing there. And, like, you're just standing there. Okay, so perfect. So here we go. We need a guy to deliver flour to the food market. Okay, perfect. You're doing that. Uh, I don't know what you're doing. Okay, we need a guy also to deliver planks to the, the main base there. Perfect. You're doing flour to the food market. You're doing planks. Okay, we need guys to supply this with wheat. You also supply this with wheat. You supply this with wheat. You supply this with wheat. You supply this with wheat. I don't know how many is that. Is that five guys doing wheat? All right, this seems a little bit better now. Perfect. Get more wood. You supply this with wheat as well. You supply this with wheat. And then you two poor guys, you're going to do stone and then you're going to do herbs. We only need one of each, I think, because I don't, I don't really know what stone and stuff means. Okay. So the workshop lets you craft wood wheels, conveyor belts, and many other useful and valuable items to help automate your town. Perfect. We need that. That is definitely important. Workshop. Do I need space for this thing is the question. I guess we'll just put it down there. Perfect. We've got wagons. Holy cow. Okay, so the workshop builds everything. So this is like your crafting station, I think, like you'd have in Factorio. So basically, you're using workers as your initial conveyor belts. 
and we're gonna have the workers build materials by dragging them to the workshop and then taking that and oh my goodness this is gonna get so incredibly complex so fast this is uh definitely a very densely packed town too we're just gonna have workers everywhere doing all sorts of stuff okay so we've got lots of food that's good we're generating mad cash we'll need to get a barn eventually but i want to start automating some stuff here so let's see if we can run a shoot to this lumber mill um can i can i do that there's dudes in the way does it really do the okay there we go okay so we've got we've got a shoot here right so now how do i get the guys to do their worker stuff mine here and drop it onto the chute does that work oh my god this is amazing yes now we are mining trees look at these guys go okay you're gonna do the same thing no onto the chute oh look at this guy he's just he's just gonna perfect oh this is what we're talking about you same thing onto the chute no mine this tree and put it on the chute oh my god what are you doing where are you going you know what? You're just useless. You're gone. These two guys are going to handle all the work. Okay, so we've got some stuff. Workshop. We need to build a barn. I, I don't know what the barn's for, but we're going to build one anyways. I'm really excited, though. This game, like, it seems like General Store, Apothecary, like, we're going to get into some crazy automation stuff. And I'm also thinking that my base is way too small. Like, we're going to need to expand out to... Oh, that's an island. That's kind of cool. But we're going to need to expand out to there for sure. So, you know what? Let's actually footpath. Uh, are there bridges? Paths, shoot, footpath, buildings, structural blocks, wood bridge. Perfect. There we go. That's what we need. And uh, we'll just do that, I guess, because we're going to need to go across. And then can I build a footpath across the top of that? Oh, perfect. That looks fantastic. All right. So we can expand out to here when we need to. Um, it's going to be crazy. We're going to have to leave our housing on this side because of the market supply, but we're definitely going to need a lot more space. I don't know what we need a barn for, but we're going to build one because it keeps asking us to. Barn is a specialty storage. All right. Like, I I guess I put it up up here. I don't know where the where the proper spot to put it is. Here, you know what? Let's put it right here. All right. So what do we do with that? Oh, it's just storage. It just stores stuff. Okay. Well, that's great. I do like the way that build system works. So it's kind of neat. I mean, obviously... It's a real pain in the butt to manage all your workers because now you gotta, you know, go through this worker menu. It would be nice if maybe they categorized it, like had, you know, you have five guys doing the exact same task or three guys doing the exact same task instead of, you know, each individual worker. But I, I get it. I just feel like if you wanted to make a really big town, you're gonna need less workers and more automation to really keep track of everything. But I want to see what this wagon does because the wagon is definitely gonna move into automation. I mean, look at this. We got two guys now or three guys chopping trees. And they're backing up, so we don't even need... We can just get rid of you and save some worker space. Like, I don't even think we need we need two guys here. Two guys are keeping this chute completely full. So that's good. It means we're definitely constantly producing planks. Uh, the barn's good there. We got the house there. All right, we need a wagon workshop. So we need another worker to bring wheels from the workshop. There, we just grab that. No, why are you bringing the wheel to the house? Why do houses need wheels? Seriously. And it made them happier. They got, they got, they, you know what? If, if it makes them happy, I mean, give them a wooden wheel. They are paying so much money for those wheels. So this is, I guess, your main base storage, I think is what this is, like your town hall. It would be nice if all your barn storages showed up underneath that. Maybe there's a way to get that to happen. I mean, if you click on it, obviously it shows up. But I guess once your town gets super huge, that might be a little bit obnoxious. So maybe not. Maybe it's too much. But anyways, um, do we have enough wheels? We have output yeah, seven. I'm definitely not playing this game efficiently. I can already tell there's just a ton of efficient stuff we could be doing. Okay, so we have a wagon. Oh, the wagon's like a villager. Oh, I see. Hold on. We can use the wagon to replace the worker doing the job from building to building i see so let's see if we delete this worker who was doing the flower job and now we have the wagon doing the flower job so we can't have the wagon do anything with these resources and we can't have the worker go to the wagon but can we have the wagon is it going to move the flower now it should move the flower right that just produced oh it produces a bunch and then it moves it over okay so you can use wagons i see so wagons do the human jobs better then the humans do them. Gotcha. So we have enough for another wagon? We do. So we could build another wagon. Put it here. 
Okay, and then this one we grab doing the plank job. I see. Okay, so you have your city streets run by wagons instead of workers. And I guess it's faster or something. But they get stuck on each other. Whereas workers don't seem to get stuck on each other. Yeah, the workers can walk past the wagons, but the wagons... They can't go past each other. You know what? That actually makes them kind of useless. Let's get let's put workers back on these jobs. There you go. You're doing the flower. It doesn't happen fast enough. All right. So what do we got to do? We got to build a stonemason next. Buildings, uh, stonemason here. We've got tons of resources, and uh, we'll just I guess we'll just put this next to the workshop. Although to be honest, we probably should not build these all close together. But you know what? This village is going to be supplied by people for now. Maybe eventually we'll expand it out and uh, supply it. With some higher level of automation stuff. Look at that. Perfect. We got a spot there. Alright, and then we just need 20 polished stone to upgrade the base. As well as a bunch of happiness. Our people are not happy. We need to supply them with wheels again. They were much happier when they had wheels. Uh, so let's just do that. You know what? Instead of exporting the wheels from the workshop, we're going to export them from the barn. I feel like the way you have to play this game, and maybe this is where I'm screwing up. But you have to kind of take all your materials and stuff. And supply them to like one central storage location and then take everything from that central storage location out. So in this case, we're supplying either the food market, the base, or this barn here. And then we're taking everything from the barn and from the food market and we're distributing it amongst the people. Alright, it seems our people are still mad and we've got to upgrade the base. But I'm going to definitely keep playing this a little bit. I think I might relay out this base between this episode and the next episode. You can recycle stuff, but I feel like... This is just too compact. We need to spread everything out a little bit more and maybe have some shoots running between some different areas. Although we, there's no real point in having a shoot between the grain mill and stuff. But we definitely need to spread this out more. Maybe make a few more paths that are just a little bit more open and have a lot more space to do stuff. But let me know what you guys think of this game in the comments down below. I really like it. I think it's kind of cool. It, it definitely brings together some of the elements of different games that I like. I really like factory building games. I think they're kind of awesome, especially with games with high levels of automation already i can tell i've laid out this base very very poorly with the houses over here and uh, just not a very efficient design based on the fact that everyone has to travel along paths and stuff so i think we're going to rearrange this just a little bit but of course i'd love to hear what you guys think so make sure you let me know in the comments down below and make sure you hit that like button hit the subscribe button if you are interested in the game of course check out that steam link in the description but as always i hope you guys enjoyed this video and we'll see y'all next time